Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this day. I thank you for watching over us and protecting us, O oh God. I thank you, Lord God. I ask you first and foremost, O oh God, to forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for anything that we have done or said, O oh God, that is not of you. Father, we know that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us, you shall condemn. Father, it's in you that we live and we move and we have our being. Thank you, God, just for everything that you are doing in our lives. And Father, we pray and ask, oh God, that we are walking in your love. Father, your word says that the greatest commandment is that we love you with all our hearts and all our souls and all our minds, and that we love our neighbor as ourselves. Lord, help us, help us, oh God, to know what this means and to truly be able to implement it in our lives. Father, we know that it is not by our works. It is not just by our works, oh God. Father, it's not just by things that we are doing. It's not by just our gifts. Father, our gifts are without repentance. These abilities within us, the gift of prophecy and song and, and um, benevolence, Lord, all these gifts comes from you. So Father, outside of these things, oh God, we must come to you with a pure heart. Teach us how to love you, God, with all our hearts, with all our souls, with all our minds, and teach us truly how to love our neighbor as ourselves. Father, we know that this comes with yielding and with obedience to you, obedience to the instructions and guidance of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Thank you, Lord, that we are not quenching the Holy Spirit. Thank you, O oh God, that we are not over, we are not insensitive to the Holy Spirit and we're not overriding his instructions. Father, we thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ who are desiring the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And Father, we thank you right now for anyone, O oh God, who has the Holy Spirit, Lord God. We, we thank you, God, that they're not afraid, O oh God, to, to, to be led by the Spirit of God and that they will yield to him and not try to suppress him in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you right now, O oh God, just for a pureness, God, in our hearts, Lord Jesus. And while some may feel like it is not possible, especially if they're older or aged, God, your word says, bless are the pure in heart, for they shall be, they shall see God. So, Lord, blessed, is a, blessed are the pure in heart, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And so, Lord, I just thank you right now, O oh God, that you are you are helping us, Lord Jesus, and that you are you are covering us, Lord God, and helping us to be pure in hearts before you. We are we are pure in heart before you. God, remove the trauma, the hurt, the pain, the setbacks, the disappointments, oh God. All the things, oh God, that separates us from you Lord and not because you want to be separated but some some of these things are things God that we hold on to or things we don't even know is there so Lord I thank you right now that we are releasing the pain and the hurt and the disappointment and the rejection and the doubt and the unbelief and God we're opening up our hearts Lord Jesus that we are doing your perfect will because Lord it's first in obeying you your word says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. God, oftentimes we want knowledge and we want things, but God, we may neglect the basics, which is obedience to you, Lord God. Forgive us for those things, Lord. And God, open up our eyes to things that we are overseeing. But Lord, let us be not trying to do works before you, God, but Lord, being sensitive to you and caring about what and caring about not doing things that upset you, Lord Jesus. And we're caring about, Father, doing the things you have called us to do. We're caring about winning souls in the name of Jesus. I thank you for touching my brothers and sisters who are experiencing persecutions, oh God, for righteousness sakes, for the sake of the gospel. And I pray that you're strengthening them and you are keeping them, oh God. You are keeping them, oh God, that they are being 
covered, Lord, under your blood, Lord, and they're being strengthened by you, Lord Jesus, that as Stephen, God, they're looking up to you, Lord Jesus, despite what is going on within them, and they're being strengthened, oh God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are touching us, Father, that we are just not about ourselves and who's in our house and our little circle, but God, we're going beyond that, Father, that we will have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness, a hunger and a thirst for the things of God, a hunger and a thirst for lost souls. Father, let us take every opportunity that you have given us to tell people about you. Father, let the fear of witnessing be removed from us. Lord, let us not be found standing before you, giving an excuse about how we buried our talents and how we didn't do the things that you have called us to do. Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will help us. Help us, Lord Jesus. Help us in our unbelief. God, as that father prayed for his son in the Bible, and you ask him if he believed, and he says, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Let us do the same thing. Lord, that you will help our unbelief in areas that even though we believe and we want to believe, God, we may be, we may struggle in certain areas in believing, oh God, when life comes, when situations happen, oh God, and for whatever else comes, God, sometimes we can be shaken. But Lord, I pray that in all things, we know that our feet are in an even place. And no matter how things may be turning and tossing around us, Father, that we must realize that we are on, we are on solid ground. So everything may be moving and it may seem like everything is moving and being tossed. But Lord, we must know that regardless of what it seems like, we are grounded, we are rooted and grounded in you. Father, let us not shy away from you, God, when you're pruning us, Lord God, when you are snipping, Lord Jesus, spiritually so that we could bring more, bring forth more fruit. And Father, we thank you right now that in all things, oh God, our fruit and what we're bringing forth, Lord God, is like a light shining to the world that they may see our light and glorify you, Lord Jesus. Father, we know the things that we do or say as believers recklessly or irresponsibly can cause people to be turned away from you. And God, likewise, the way we live and what we do can move people, Lord Jesus, to see a difference and to want to know you more. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we're not walking in unforgiveness and malice and strife. And Father, we're handing over offenses to you. You said if we do not forgive, neither will you forgive us. So, Lord, while we're forgiving and we're letting go of things, Father, let us also understand it's not, uh, we know that it's not a one, two, three thing, but, Lord, that we turn it over to you and we allow ourselves to be healed under your mighty hand. Help us to understand, Lord God, when to, that we are to forgive, we're to move ahead. And, Father, we also have to understand, God, that sometimes when we're forgiving, Lord God, help us to know the balance of when you want us to be reconciled, God, in relationships or father when we are forgiven but we have to move ahead remove ourselves from toxic relationships father let not our brothers and sisters in christ be caught in relationships that are like quicksand father and they're not able to move and they're being stuck and they're being told that well if you forgive you have to put up with things god we know that we're supposed to suffer for righteousness sake oh god for the righteous cause lord jesus so teach us the difference lord jesus but god in all things we still must love our enemies teach us how to do this lord we give our hearts to you in the name of jesus Father, that we will not be found lacking, that we will not be found still having said something against someone when you told us to forgive or being so caught up in a forgiveness, Lord God, that we're willing to bet our very eternity to hold a grudge or bet our eternity by disobeying you, God, when you say, move on, let go. Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ who may feel isolated, who may feel like they have no one. Let them realize, God, when your disciples left you and they were scattered, you said, even though they will leave you alone, you're not alone because the Lord is with you. So let them realize the Lord is with them and they are not alone. Father, let them not overlook the ram in the bush 
in friendships. It may not be right there in town. It may not be who they expected. But Father, let them see how often you have sent a ram in the bush in, this, in, this, in, the, in the way of a blessing, in the way of a friendship, in the way of a spoken word. God, it can be anybody. Lord, I remember your word says that our blessings can come, will come from afar, Lord God. And we see that all the time, Lord Jesus. How someone in a, at a distance can give us an encouraging word and can uphold us and just say something to us at the right time. So God, I just thank you that we are not losing, Father, these wonderful, wonderful treasures and moments, God, because it's not who we expected it to be and not who we wanted it to be. Let us not be like the children of Israel who complained about the manna, complaining about what you're giving us because it's not in the form of what we wanted and because we long for more. Let that not be us, Lord. Father, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I love you, I love you, I praise you. Lord, thank you for touching us. Let us be good stewards of our salvation, Lord. Father, because you did not have to choose us, but you chose us. Let us make you proud, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for touching us, Lord. I thank you, God, that we're walking in love. We're walking in forgiveness. We're walking in wholeness. We're not being entangled again in the yokes of bondage. That we have the whole armor of God on. And God, we have the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge, the discernment to know how to use and to operate in the whole armor of God on or off the battlefield. In public and behind closed doors, Lord Jesus. Let us not be our own worst enemies, Lord. And let us not be our family's worst enemies, Lord. Let us not be, be holy and righteous in public and on set. But God, behind closed doors, we are brutes and wretches. Let it not be said among us to be this way. And if we have been in any way, Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. We thank you that we're hungering and we're thirsting for righteousness. We thank you as we continue this fast, we are sensitive to you, Lord, that we are not compartmentalizing you to specific time, specific scriptures only. But, Lord, we are being led by the Spirit of God. We thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. My brothers and sisters, read Psalm 1 today. Take a look at that. Listen to it today. And as I said, be led by the Spirit of God, wherever he may send you and have you look at Whatever he may have you look at today, you do that. Be strong in the Lord. Have a wonderful day and weekend.